righty. First one's going to come down. As you can see, it took part of itself down. Um, I've cut on this a little bit before. and uh, But, uh, yeah, the whole top broke out of it. This tree right there, you know, where that burl is, I've been watching it for a while. It's a cool big tree. I, I didn't really want it to die, but uh, I kind of knew it was going to, so I, I tried to do some, some pruning on it. I don't know if that helped it or hurt it, but um, up there out of a tractor, I don't know whole thing's is broke it's failing i'm just gonna cut down what's left of it and get everything cut up here so anyway let's start with this one i got another one over there that's that's dead uh cutting it up as well so first thing though um i bought from sappy supplies one of these double bubble files this is for square filing um a chain kind of cool i've never done it before never even heard of it square filing uh, but I, I did a little bit of oh, cutting the other day uh, another tree that broke uh, so I, had to, I went and cut it up to try out this new chain but you just for sharpening your chain stick your file in here roughly like so and I need advice on here but it would be easier but and sharpen it kind of the way you would just with a uh, wrap file but you use one of these instead so uh kind of cool but it, it cut really good though that's what i'm saying I, I really like it so uh, pretty cool i was super happy with it uh, this saw it's never cut this good so i was pretty impressed but never heard of square filing before until i started watching uh um guilty of treason the youtube channel is um it's uh, jacob the guy that runs the store or owns the store i guess um, but yeah, pretty cool. So got this from them, double bevel file. Some people use a triangle file, but you can look up the Guilty of Treasons videos with a guy named Jed, um, just a chainsaw nerd, really into uh, chainsaws and chains and stuff. So anyway, we're gonna use this square file chain. I'll go cut all this up. Should make pretty sh short work. <laughs> My lap stopped working. I hate it when it does that. I thought it was recording all this. This is probably the biggest stump I've ever cut down. So, 20 inch bar. The big one, the other one I got to cut, it's uh, about the same size. Uh, this side I was, I was pretty good, you know, hinge and all. I cut a little too far on this side. But, uh, the top is out of the tree, so you know there wasn't a lot of weight in it. So anyway, look at that it's huge.
Okay, this is my next victim. As you can see, if you look up at the top of the branches, you know, most of the little twigs are gone. Branches are all starting to fall out of it. Compared to that one, you can kind of see the difference. Um, the, you know, it's winter, so the leaves are off all the trees, but this one here is dead. So, anyway, I'm gonna set this up and uh, cut this tree down. So, all right, let's do it. How dead that was it just disintegrated when it hit the ground uh it was hollow i didn't know that so i was still cutting art i wasn't quite ready but because of that lean uh, and i messed up my wedge again just a little bit you know but uh yeah it fell pretty soon actually pretty quick that old brittle pecan you know i mean look at all that holding when there was like eight inches of wood in that hinge left i cut that side a little bit short on purpose actually because i i didn't want to hit this this other tree, also, I didn't think it would hit it, but I wanted it to fall kind of more this way. So uh, I'm trying to kind of weaken the hinge on that side a little bit more. Sometimes that'll make it more likely to fall that way. Although in this case, I mean, look at all that, that it just broke. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. So big old tree, but, uh, yeah, hollow. I didn't know that. So, but, yeah, anyway, that was perfect. I cut the snipe on the front there. It used it, you can see it kind of tore it out a little bit, but I don't know if that really helped or not, but it went fine. So, uh, and I thought this one was a little bit smaller, but I mean, 20 inch bar might actually be just a hair bigger, depending on how you measure it. So, anyway, well, that's what we did it. So, got this all up for firewood. This is little 435 I've been working on. I just replaced the, the carburetor, the air filter, the spark plug, the fuel filter, check the muffler, it's clear. There's a little thing they call an insulator in front of the carburetor, replace that as well, because it was broken, as well as a primer bulb and one clip that was broken. Um, I didn't really make a video about it because my phone is dying and I don't really know what I'm doing, but it didn't fix the saw. That's the same problem I've had before. So it didn't start this time. It didn't start uh, the other day when I tried to start it, but that that you just heard the way that's running i don't know what causes that in a chainsaw <laughs> so if anybody does i'd sure appreciate your help so uh, if you have any advice any ideas of what to do to it next i, I just don't know uh it'd be a handy little saw to have but it just runs like that every time you hit the trigger it just bogs down and dies and uh like i said new uh everything on the intake side so uh i don't know if uh maybe the piston's just screwed up and I don't know if it's worth working on it anymore. Like I said, I bought this thing for $10 at an auction, but if I could fix it, I would. So, all right, I think that's where I'm going to end this video here. I finally, I got all that firewood hauled. Um, God damn it.